Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm making another video. I don't know when this one will go up because um, I'm making it now. I'm not gonna upload it as soon as I'm done because it's the morning and I need my computer. But I went out to a show last night and I also relieved some vinyl community love yesterday. So I wanna share that before time passes. Some, sometimes time passes and you never get back to it. Right now what I'm listening to, thank you Roger Coleman, a newer VC member who I vibe with right away and he just sent me some, some music. It's fantastic, Roger, thank you. I'm listening to Dysnomia, 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 Dawn of Midi. Thank you so much, Roger. This is excellent. Very cyclical, repeating, ostinato, I think is the right word, growing, wonderful. Thank you, Roger. Roger also sent me, um, I haven't got through everything, Roger. You sent me quite a bit, actually. But the other vinyl that you sent that I did play was the Montebus Communitas, recorded in Peru. And this is, um, kind of a stream of consciousness sort of recording. Nice, it works. I think David Horowitz, Sequoia Flame, was talking about this record. Thank you so much, Roger. I'll tell you what, the VC uh, LT has been life-saving. Um, very appreciative, folks. Uh, Roger also sent me some tapes and CDs in the package. I haven't really um, dived dive into the stuff yet with his note here explaining so um, there's more for me to dive into thank you so much Roger pineapple explode I'm intrigued I love the way these covers are made too neat and then secret keeper with Mary Halverson thank you Lots to absorb here. Some uh, some other ephemera and a, and a pineapple explode cassette. Yeah, I like cassettes. I do. Thank you. Thanks so much, Roger. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Last night I went out to see Orenda Fink, who some of you folks know from the band Azure Ray. Show. Band Azure Ray. She also has a project called Haruki Zombie. I just love Arenda. Um, but she played last night. But the whole the whole night was wonderful. It was a wonderful night of music. Um, and um, I'll tell you what. I'm really really happy about Olivers. Olivers. The bar here in Omaha has been around for a long time. But the band Cursive. Tim Casher bought it a little while ago. And it's even more of a music bar now. What was cool last night is it's, it's a musician's hangout, but last night for every act, there was complete silence for most of their set because people were listening. And um, I'm gonna take a little bit of responsibility for it. Thanks people for showing respect to those of us that are really listening. It was worth it. Let me go in the order of um, what they played, when they played. The first band, originally from Wisconsin, I mean, originally from Chicago, now out of Madison, was Spires That In The Sunset Rise. Now, when I saw um, the, title, the title of the band, then I saw the pictures of the records, I was intrigued. But then when I listened to uh, them on SoundCloud, I said, yeah, I gotta go. And they didn't disappoint. They were excellent live. I mean, it's even better. It's one of those sort of things where if I'd heard the music personally in the store not having seen them it probably would not have made an impression but seeing the two women create this and to see they're they were basically oblivious to the audience they were into the sound and they capture it on these records it's amazing this is um excellent i love the cover too Fires that in the sunset rise, ancient patience wills it again. Look at that cover. And then there's a part two. So I had to get both. 
So this is part two. Highly recommend this. Along the lines of Current 93, Wild, Pagan, at times like Free Jazz. This is excellent. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yeah, holy. And now I didn't buy anything by Simon last night, but Simon Joyner is from Omaha and he has a renown of his own. I've seen Simon several times. Last night was the best I've ever seen him. The songs just worked. He played several new songs and I seldom pay attention to words the way I did last night. He just sucked me into his world and the, world's, the, the songs became larger than life. It was incredible. I do understand the power of the spoken word. Uh, I know that I have kind of a funky attitude that I kind of get like this about, but it really is where I'm at. But when I let loose and listen to words, if there's something there, I get it. But make no mistake, I want to hear music first. I want to hear something interesting musically first, always. So Simon was fantastic, but I didn't buy anything. I've got some of his CDs. Best way to hear Simon is live. The next act was a solo woman who goes by the name of Circuit de Yeux. Whoa. Last night was an amazing night of music. And I shared with the artist, I said, you know why this was so fantastic? Because you were making the music for you. And that's what I come out to see. I want to see someone come out. I want to come out and see someone do their thing. Um, being entertained is nice sometimes, but mostly what I want to do is experience somebody's reality. And this woman, Holly, I think is her name. No, 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 I, I got it. I met her after, Haley. Whoa. Circuit de, des yeux, de yeux. This is her latest, and it's like, she's almost like kind of defiantly uh, indie. Look at this. She um, had the records pressed up by Musical. It looks like she only went as far as having um, the records made up with no labels, just test pressing labels. And then and that's her writing on here, Circuit de You. And this is great. Um, one of the things that many of you know is that one of the best ways to discover wonderful unknown music is going to shows. And um, last night was a perfect example. I. Uh, this one, okay, I'm gonna compare her to uh, Zola Jesus. Who else has a big voice? PJ Harvey came to mind. Intense. Fantastic. I'm serious, Circuit de You. And the record, this record is good. I played it last night. It captures it. She made me a deal, so I bought all of her vinyl. I haven't played this yet. This came out on Bastille in 2010. This one is called Portrait by Circuit de Yeux. She was fantastic. Her voice really deep. And Diamanda Gallas came to mind as well because of the power of this woman's voice. And then I haven't played this yet, but she had this tenant. She says this is her, her metal band, CDY3. Haven't played it yet but I got this from her also on 10 inch. If you go to my Facebook page, I uh, uploaded pictures of the show. It was fantastic, fantastic. I had this out getting into the mood, ONS by Arenda Fink and one of the guys from Remy Zero. This is a really good album too. So I had this out playing this, getting in the mood for the show last night. And I just, I like to show sometimes when it's colored vinyl. This has a nice streak in it. It's a good, good album, ONS, a good Saddle Creek album. So the night was wonderful. And um, again, the uh, music community in Omaha is vital. Uh, just about everyone at the shows, when you walk through the audience and talk to people, almost everyone is a musician, artist, or in a band. I was also talking to, the, Derek Presnell was there last night. He and um, Icky Blossoms are um, playing in uh, L.A., I think, tonight or tomorrow night. But uh, we talked last night, and um, the camaraderie is really high. Um, 
I know there's infighting, but I don't know nothing about it because I think you carry your your uh, energy with you, and um, I just love it. I just love it. Um, hmm. Last thing I'll say, because I'm going to keep this short, I thought I'd talk a long time, but I'm glad it's only 10 minutes. That means I, I can go ahead and upload this. It'll only take about an hour and a half for this to upload, but... Um, Sonospheres 2 is um, going. I have about 50 copies left. Let me show it again. I also have a new video for um, another track of this I'm going to upload, another um, music video that I just made. But Sonospheres 2, I'm down to about 50 copies of this. I've released six albums in the last two years. Four of them are sold out, and this is about to join. This will join them. I'm saying it because some some of you folks, please understand my words. I just got to tell you straight. Some people sat on some of my old releases thinking they could just get them, and they sold out. And when I announced that they were sold out, every time this happened, I heard from folks, when are you going to press it again? I thought, you know... The thing is, repressing is, I can't afford it, okay? I can barely afford to, you know, just keeping it straight. What I'm saying is this. If you're interested in getting Sonus Fairs 2 on vinyl, buy it. There's 50-something copies left on red vinyl. When they're gone, they're gone. Um, I am not in a position to repress my records at all. So, um, Derek 3, Derek 2... In Dreama, Sonospheres, those are those are those are those are gone. So get yours today. Nice, nice. I have nice is the one I press the most of. It'll be 500 once I get the next uh, shipment of records in. When those get in, I'm depending on how things are going. I'm looking. I'm thinking about having a sale on Derek Nice for Christmas. Just putting it out there. I'm thinking about doing it. But this only fifteen dollars plus postage. This is as good as all these records I just showed you. I ain't no shit about it. People can tell you. I was listening to the Straubs last night. Just as good as the Straubs. Don Cherry. Complete Communion. Two different, completely different schools. My music is just as valid as Don Cherry. Now, some of you folks are probably spinning on your your chairs. No, I mean every word of it. Okay. Trick of the Tail, Genesis, Derek, Sonosphere's 2. Yeah, it sits side by side. With Genesis. Am I delusional? I don't think so. Because everyone that buys it tells me. Okay? It's not fake. You can hear it online. So, um, that's the last thing I want to say. You know, grab the music. And um, news soon about the soundtrack music for Flyover Country, when that will first be released, when that will be available. Uh, as far as I know, it should be first available on CD this fall. Okay. Be well, folks. And um, Vinyl Community is happening.